Hi, I'm Stephanie Ayers, and today we're solving addition equations on teachvid.com. Solving addition equations. Today we're looking at 12 plus n equals 20. On paper, this can sometimes be um, a little scary to try to solve, so let's go ahead and look at our balance as a model of what this equation actually looks like. All right, so here we have an addition equation, 12 plus n equals 20. On this side of the balance scale, we have 12 plus n. On this side of the balance, we have 20. Let's go ahead and show that with our cube. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 plus n. And on the other side, we have 20. All right. Now we can see this is not balanced because we don't know what n equals. In order to figure out what n equals, we need to get n all by itself. So we're going to use something called the subtraction property of equality. This means that if I have 12 here, the only way to get n by itself is to take away 12. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract the 12 that are over here, and I'm left with just n. If I subtract from this side of the balance, I have to subtract from the other side. So let's go ahead and take out 12, 6, 8, 10, 12. And so now I've been able to find that since I've done my subtraction on both sides, that n equals whatever's left in here, which is 2, 4, 6, 8. So all right, so let's see if that works out. n equals 8. So we're going to put all of them back in there. But we know that n equals 8. So I'm going to say 2, 4, 6, and 8. We're going to take a look at our balance and we'll see that now we truly have a balanced equation. We know what n equals, and we can replace that with a number eight. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like on paper. We've got 12 plus n equals 20. I'm going to go ahead and subtract the 12 like I did in the balance scale. So I'm going to write down 12 plus n minus 12. On the opposite side, I had 20, and I also subtracted 12. The reason that I subtract 12 on both sides is because I need to keep my balance equal. Let's go ahead and solve. 12 minus 12 is going to be 0, so I'm going to have 0 plus the n that's there equals 20 minus 12, that's your 8, so you end up saying n equals 8. If we go ahead and take that n, and we're going to replace this n up here with the 8, we'll end up saying 12 plus 8 equals 20. And when we solve that out, we'll see that it is 20 equals 20. So this was the subtraction property of equality, that when I have an addition equation, I'm going to use subtraction from both sides to help me get my variable all by itself. Once again, thanks for watching this video on teachvid.com. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any questions, go ahead and send those to Steph at teachvid.com.